Mrs. Maisel is like a walking 1950s fashion plate and it leaves vintage lovers absolutely breathless. Costumer Donna Sikowska and her team make about 90% of the costumes using imported fabrics and couture patterns. When I made a sketch about living like the marvelous Mrs. Maisel for a week, I did not have a fabulous team of costumers helping me make amazing costumes and putting it together and Rachel actually does wear a wig so my hair is just like this. I can't do hair. Um, so, you know, this video is for people who want to bring a little bit of that Mrs. Maisel flair into their lives but don't necessarily have all of the resources to do it. I found all of the pieces that I'm going to show you at a local thrift store and while they're not all strictly 1950, they do invoke that time period. And I think that if you can go into your local thrift stores, look around, you will definitely find something that is Maisel-esque. So without further ado, I'm going to show you four different outfits that are Maisel inspired that you can wear for Halloween or for a party or just to bring a little bit of 1950s flair into your everyday life. Outfit number one. This brown tweed wiggle dress sports a rolled collar and three quarter length sleeves. In the second episode of Amazon's The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, we learned that Midge learned to drive because she fell in love with a pair of pink driving gloves. Everything with Midge starts with an accessory. That's what her mother Rose says about Maisel. So be sure to add the accessories. I have donned a straw and velvet pillbox hat, white gloves, kitten heels, and a vintage handbag. Look number two. This one piece wool sheath dress with a mock turtleneck has a kick pleat in the front and patterned sleeves. This simple day dress would be perfect for, I don't know, cooking yourself a little brisket to share with your friends and family. Look number three, the red dress. When Midge dresses for a purpose, her outfits tend to really pack a punch. She, she dresses to uh, give herself strength. For example, probably the most iconic outfit from season one may be the busty red dress she wears to greet Joel the first time he returns to the apartment after leaving her for another woman. I personally love dressing to make myself feel something. I love this particular red dress. It's not 1950s, I bought it at Nordstrom, but it has the same empowering feel I think that Midge's red dress does, which is why I'm including it in this video. If you want to tackle a really ambitious sewing project, YouTuber Morgan Donner has made a four-part series about making this exact red dress, so I've included that link in the description if you are more crafty than I am. I'm not. I can't do what she does, but I welcome you to do it. Go sew stuff. Look number four. When Midge goes into the West Village with Joel to help him do stand-up and then later to do her own stand-up, she dresses down with a more bohemian vibe. Uh, she wears a matching black capri and black turtlenecky kind of outfit with a colorful headscarf. Costume designer Zakowska said that there were a lot of European influences in New York City at the time. So she in she Midge's look was inspired by that kind of bohemian vibe. If you're a crazy Maisel fan like me, I have done a couple other Maisel videos. I lived a week like the marvelous Mrs. Maisel and I've also done some commentary videos on season one and season two. If you're here for more costume ideas, I've also done a video about how to dress like a suffragette if you're going to a women's march or want to go as a suffragette for Halloween. Those are all linked in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I put up videos every Thursday and as always, have a lovely, lovely day.